bones are constantly rebuilding themselves. winter's morning on Beep Island. It's much too cold to play outside, so the beeps are keeping warm by staying indoors. All except for one. Teeny Beep is going out. She's going to see the Beeposaurus at High Hill Cave. Brrr. Oh, it's freezing out there. Inside Beep Beep's house, some of the beeps have found a giant jigsaw puzzle to keep them entertained. I'll find all the edge pieces. That's the best way to do a jigsaw. I found a bit. A bit of fish. Does that help? No. That should keep them busy for a while. Teeny travels fast for a little beep. She's at High Hill Cave already. Yoo-hoo! It's Teeny me! Welcome to my cave. You'll soon warm up. Now you're inside. Grr. It feels just as cold inside. As it does outside. Do you think so? Yes, I do. Beeposaurus, don't you find your cave a little bit, a tiny bit, a teeny bit gloomy? Gloomy? I hadn't really noticed. Meanwhile, back in Beep Beep's warm and cosy home, the Beeps have made great progress with the giant jigsaw puzzle. This piece goes there. One more bit to do. The mermaid's tail. Who's got the final piece? Oh, no. Don't say there's a piece missing. Roast beet nuts, anyone? There's a piece missing. We know. Teeny, you're back early. I couldn't stay. I felt so sorry for him. For who? Beeposaurus? Yes. His cave is so gloomy and bare inside. He has nothing to make it feel homely. Oh, I see. It's not fair, him living like that when we all have pretty, cosy homes. That's it. We could make things. What for? For Beeposaurus. We could change his gloomy cave into a pretty, cosy home, just like ours. A cave makeover. What a lovely idea. It could be a surprise. A crafty cave makeover surprise. It will be fun to do while we're stuck indoors. I wonder if Yuck will want to join in. I doubt it. I think I'll go and ask him. You never know. Hello, Teeny Beep. Hello, Yuck. You'll never guess what I've found. <coughs> Feel it, Teeny. Go on, give it a squeeze. Let it ooze between your fingers. Yuck. It's clay, Teeny Beep. Clay. Which means that this is a potter's wheel. <laughs> Ain't it mucky? What's it for? For making bowls and vases, you know, pottery. I wonder if it still works. <laughs> That's funny. What's funny? I came to ask if you'd like to make something nice for High Hill Cave. Maybe some pottery? Oh, yes. Perfect. <laughs> mucky muck. It's a full house. Everyone is joining in with Teeny Beep's crafty idea. Leafy is knitting a cosy blanket. And as it's for the Beeposaurus, he's making it really big. Knit one, her one, knit one. Smelly has had a brilliant idea. He's weaving a rug from old Smelly's socks. In, out. In, out. I don't suppose he washed them first. Crafty beeps, weaving in and out, in and out, printing and pressing and pressing. Bing, crafty beeps, crafty beeps, crafty beeps, sewing in and out, in and out, do it all together, all together. Oh, those crafty beeps, crafty beeps. This basket weaving business isn't uh, as easy as it uh, 
Looks. <laughs> more more <up. laughs> More clay! <laughs> there. I finished. So have we! Now all we have to do is decorate High Hill Cave without Beepasaurus knowing anything about it. Again, teeny you. Would you like to come in? I can't. Something important has gone missing. Everyone's looking for it. Can you help? Yes, of course. Let's go and look. That's the signal. It's all clear. On Teeny Beep signal, the crafty beeps spring into action. They have a lot to do. Oh my. They've all had the same idea. Everything is Beeposaurus size. Oh, little smelly sock rug. I'm going to miss you. But I will come and visit you whenever I can. Carefully does it. That's um interesting, Bossy. Yes, it's uh, very big. Uh, what is it? It's what every pretty home should have. A table decoration. But Beeposaurus doesn't have a table. He does now! Oh, bravo, Brainy. That's marvellous. If you think that's marvellous, just wait until you see what I've made. Ta-da! Wow! What a lottery of pottery! Don't you think we should be getting all of this inside the cave before Teeny and Beeposaurus get back? Goodness, yes. There's not a moment to lose. Right. You look here, and I'll look over there. Teeny! You haven't told me what we're looking for yet. Haven't I? Silly me. It's, um, a piece of jigsaw puzzle. And that's important. It's the final piece. We can't finish the puzzle without it. Where is everyone else, then, if it's so important? Uh, they... Mm. Ah, hello! for that, especially Teeny Beep. Beep, bada, beep, 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 bada, boo. Come along, Beeposaurus. Join it. You were about to tell me where everyone else is. Oh, was I? Um, all right, Beeposaurus. I can't pretend any longer. There's a surprise for you back at your cave. A surprise? For me? Really? Come on, Teeny, let's go! So Teeny Beep and the Beeposaurus head back to High Hill Cave, where the crafty Beeps only just managed to get the cave ready in time. Here they come! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, wow! Do you like it? Yes, it's so pretty. It's so cozy. It's so full. Ah, yes, um, a slight hiccup in the, um, the planning department. That's all Yuck's fault. Once his pots were inside, there wasn't room for anything else. Ah, who wants a rug made from your stinking socks anyway? I love the rug and the pots and everything, but I, uh, I, uh... You liked it the way it was, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, we hadn't realised. Right. Everything out. Oh, yes! Little smelly sock rug, you're coming home to Daddy! I'm sorry. You meant well, Teeny, but I love the bare grey walls of my drafty old cave. I don't need anything else. I have everything I could possibly want. There we are. It's all yours. One bare drafty cave. Ah, that's better. There's nothing else in there with you. Actually, uh, there is something. I do have one ornament. Hey, that's the 
missing piece of the puzzle. The Beepasaurus had the final piece of the puzzle all along, and the Beeps found homes for everything else. I've been after some new flower pots for the garden. These ones will make super soup bells. I'll take the table. It'll do for a workbench. Even the Beepasaurus-sized blanket came in useful. Once Leafy had unraveled all the wool and used it to knit scarves for everyone. So they all had tea and they weren't too cold. Goodbye. The beach. Pretty flu.